Hello you guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Bread Week. Oh, week? <laughs> I don't know. That's what they call it on the Great British Baking Show. Oh. But they have to bake three different things and we're only baking one. <laughs> yeah. We've never baked bread. Mm -mm. Here's the thing. We're basically trying to waste time until this baby gets here. <laughs> so that means we decided we're going to learn how to make bread. Yeah. French bread. Yes. I thought that seemed more interesting than just like a white loaf of bread. I don't know. It white seems bread more fun. Seems lame. Yeah, right? I want to eventually make some like kind of fancy bread, but we're not going to start there because <laughs> one, I don't have the energy and two, that just seems disastrous. I know how to make pizza though. We made pretzels, but we've never made like a loaf of bread. I found a recipe on Pinterest. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. It seems pretty simple. Warm water, sugar, dry active yeast, olive oil, salt, flour, and an egg. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Add warm water, sugar, and yeast. Stir and let sit for a few minutes or until frothy. 2.5 cups of warm water. Hey, you must be precise. 2.5 cups. One tablespoon active dry yeast. Ooh, she's new. Yeast is so weird. Oh. It was like too easy to scoop. Stir and let sit for a few minutes. Wait, why didn't you like how easy it was to scoop? It felt weird. <laughs> it seems like it should have been the same ease as like sugar, but it like sank in there. Should I use a whisk? Josh spirals very quickly with baking. <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. So we'll let that sit for like what, five minutes? It said a few minutes or until frothy. All right, she's looking frothy. That's our next step, mister. Add oil, salt, and about half the flour. Three quarters tablespoons of salt. But we don't have that, so we're gonna guess. Does that seem? Sure. Two tablespoons of oil, which I have. I think there's two tablespoons of that. Uh, maybe. <laughs> then, and do it. I think that's Really little... plopped in there. <laughs> yeah. And then about half of the flour, which it said 5.5 to 6 cups of flour. So I'm going to put in 3 cups. It do... 3. Is it weird that I like the smell of yeast? It excites me that there's going to be bread. Mm. <laughs> you know? I am pretty excited for some fresh bread. And now we dough hook it. Mm -hmm. Using the dough hook, mix on low for 1 to 2 minutes until all the flour is mixed in. Fun. All right, it's been two minutes. To continue to mix on low and add flour until the dough pulls away from the sides. So just remember, we're at four cups. Four. How are you feeling? I'm good. Excited? Stressed? Excited. This is my kind of baking. I'm a safer guy in general. You eat my cookies pretty fast, though. That's true. She makes good cookies. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if I'm going to get excited about a baking project, it's going to be like bread or bagels or pretzels. So bread. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can add another one. It still looks pretty wet. Pulled away from the sides. It's supposed to be soft, but not sticky. Still kind of sticky. We are just under six cups, and it said five and a half to six cups, so I think we got. You can add a tiny bit more. Yeah. Almost there, though. It's like a tornado of dough. I was going to say, what's that Looney Tunes character? Tasmanian devil. Yeah, that's what we've made. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Not sticky. Yay! Alright, so now we need to get this off the hook and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Himalish. This bread is off the hook! You should have said that after. Dang it. <laughs> redo, two. redo, redo. Take Here, two. take it off first. <laughs> Himalish. This bread is off the hook! Oh! Now we just need to cover this. Hey, I just thought of another bread pun. Now we just need to cover it. <laughs> Yikes. We'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, so it has been more than 15 minutes. We got distracted. And look at how big that's gotten. Whoa. So now we have to divide it and then let it rest again for 30 minutes. That's what we're doing now. Is that lightly floured? That is lightly floured. Alright, are we supposed to knead it at all? Or just cut it in half? Cut it in half. 
cut it in half. You need a rolling pin now? Yeah. So it says, gently roll each piece of dough into a rectangle, about 14 by 8. It looks nice and fluffy. I don't get to use a rolling pin very often. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's not super rectangular. Roll each rectangle up, starting from the longer edge, and gently press out large air bubbles with the heel of your hand until you have two long, narrow loaves. Nice. Looks like a French bread, kind of. Okay, so seam down, and then it says you can tuck the ends. So just like a little bloop bloop. Cute. And then we cover this with a kitchen towel for another 30 minutes. It says dough is going to double again. On the Great British Breaking Show, they always talk about proving, which is like rising. We've overrisen. So we're going to do this with the other half of the dough. Let it sit, and then we get to score it, egg wash it, and bake it. <laughs> Are you getting excited? Yeah, it's looking like bread. <laughs> All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Whoa. Wow, that is a beaut. We have our other one over here. Oh yeah, those are looking so good. So I've made an egg wash. It's one egg, a tablespoon of water. You're supposed to put this all over. And this helps with the crust, I think. Alright. Beautiful. And now you take a little knife and you're supposed to make four slashes, they said. I don't know if I'm cutting this deep enough. I don't even really know the point of that, but it's there. <laughs> the oven is preheated to 375. This goes in for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's like golden brown. It says you can put some ice cubes in the bottom and that helps with the crust. We don't really have a tray at the bottom of ours to be able to do that, so I don't think we're gonna do that. Hopefully, it turns out okay. Bake well, little guy. getting the second one out. This one was bigger. Yeah. On the Great British Baking Show, <laughs> they always <laughs> tap it, and if it sounds hollow, then they go, I'm happy with that. Let's Look at that side. Over. Just don't want Paul Hollywood yelling at me for <laughs> my bread not being baked. Our first one. This is our like first one. Bread. It's our little baby. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that. It smells really good. <laughs> this one's been cooling for about 20 minutes, so I think we can cut, cut into, into this. It. Yeah. yeah. Looks good, it, right? It doesn't look like there's any weird parts. You wanna try? Yeah. It's actually still really warm. Maybe <laughs> we should have waited longer. Mm. Tastes good. I wanna make some chili or something and dip this in it. It's very thick. It's not like light and fluffy though. Pretty good flavor though. Tastes good. I'll eat it. <laughs> I will eat all of it. Tastes like bread. <laughs> Loaf two is out and on the cooling rack. How beautiful do those look? Wow. Real stoked. Honestly, we will probably eat this whole thing today. That was fun. What do you think? For our first time making bread, yeah. I feel like it turned out pretty well. Tasty. It tastes good. Yeah. I mean, I'll eat it. And we are we don't even have anything on it. Normally French bread, I feel like, has a harder crust mm -hmm. and it's really light inside. It's a little more dense inside, but I'm kind of not mad about it. Yeah, I mean, it still tastes so, really good. Yeah. <laughs> and they did say in the recipe to put, like, ice or the steam that would help with the crust. That may be why the crust is very thin. We also had some weird rising times. <laughs> Didn't mess up. But honestly, overall, I'm happy with it. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it. If you guys are bread people, comment down below your tips and tricks. Or your favorite bread recipe. I feel like this is gonna be something that we are gonna continue doing. All right, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for us. You guys are great, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two. <laughs> it's just water. I'm spilling yeast. Froth as. I'm definitely gonna leave both of those in. <laughs> Clay, you helping? Oops. <laughs> I think. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Yeah.